Well, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Japan over the weekend. Now, under the framework of the special strategic and global partnership between India and Japan, Modi and Shinzo Abe will have wide-ranging discussions over the two days on bilateral, regional and global issues. Now, India has the annual summit-level engagements only with two countries, that is Russia and Japan, and our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhan Sibyl brings you more on this. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Japan from 28th to 29th October for the 13th India-Japan Annual Summit. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will extend a personal welcome to Prime Minister Modi by hosting him in Yamanashi Prefecture for dinner at his second or holiday home. They will have lunch in a hotel with Mount Fiji in the backdrop and then the duo will take a train from Yamanashi to Tokyo. Remember, last year, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited Gujarat, the home state of the Indian Prime Minister, for the 12th annual summit. During that visit, both the Prime Ministers oversaw the groundbreaking ceremony for the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Project or the Bullet Train, a project that will grab attention this time as well. Agreements we expect to sign will be the second tranche of the ODA loan for the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail project. Um, um, and uh, the, the effort, at least, Government of India and of the Prime Minister is to ensure that this is completed in time for the 75th anniversary of India's independence, which comes in 2022. Uh, and every effort is being made by both governments to see that we reach completion of this and any issues that are, uh, are, are in, the, uh, you know, in the way are resolved. Connectivity will be the top focus. Japan is keen on expanding connectivity projects from India's northeast to neighboring countries like Bangladesh. Both Japan and India are now keen on joint infrastructure connectivity projects, especially the Asia-Africa Growth Corridor. Security is another aspect. Negotiations on the Acquisition and Cross-Servicing Agreement or ACSA will kickstart during this visit. And with the Quad that consists India, Japan, US and Australia being revived last year, Tokyo will be hoping for greater participation from New Delhi. But China sees the Quad as a threat and considers it to be a precursor to the Asian NATO. Some misunderstanding about uh, Quad. Quad is uh, one of the several mechanisms to promote in the Pacific Division. Quad will just uh, be revived uh, uh, last year. So yeah, this is gradually growing. We are sharing the same values and uh, we hope in the future they will play a very important role. But at the same time, we'd like to attach other format mechanism to promote the same, same goal. So this is one of the several uh, mechanisms to achieve peace and st stable uh, in the Pacific region. But the Chinese shadow looms large in the region, and that is something both the leaders will have on their minds. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's China visit, a first by a Japanese Prime Minister since 2011, comes just ahead of his meeting with Prime Minister Modi. India has welcomed the visit by Shinzo Abe to China, saying it will not impact Indo-Japan ties, and that New Delhi welcomes the improving ties between China and Japan. Tokyo will be rolling out red carpet for Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This will be the fifth annual summit between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. This will be also their 12th meeting since 2014. Connectivity, security cooperation and infrastructure will be the main pillars of this visit. But in the wider geopolitical game, India, China and Japan will be looking out for partners in an increasingly complex world and Asia. With video journalist Ankit Siddhant Sibyl for Vion, World is One in New Delhi.